Hello, and welcome to Where the World is Wally. We're here today at 45th, an Interlake school, which is now known as Wallingford Center. So, in 1907, trolley tracks were laid from the U District along 45th here, all the way to Meridian, which is just two blocks east of here. By 1909, streetcars from the Central District reached Wallingford as well. The school is classically designed. It goes all the way back to 1902. Many other schools in this time shared a well-lit, lots of windows, similar box frame structures. Wallingford. In a 1925 article in the Seattle Times was described as one of the most active and important parts of the city of Seattle. This place went from small farms to up to 50,000 people. The businesses here on 45th started establishing lots of growth, so much so that it the growth here was not surpassed by anywhere else in the nation. The property value here was $250 a square foot in 1925, which is more than cities in Southern California or even Florida. The primary school was closed in 1981 and was reopened as a mixed living and shopping center with 24 apartments, a cupcake place, amazing Indian food, and even a fancy drugstore. <laughs> Going back to 1925, the first two blocks of uh, the North Shore of Lake Union were zoned off as industry. Um, there was Standard Oil and a few other businesses uh, related to marine, uh, marine industry. The Seattle Times article noted that almost virtually every lot in this, this part of the city was a home. They said that it was the home center of the universe. There was the Latona School. There was Lincoln High School. There was Hamilton on uh, 41st, which was a junior high school. Uh, all this in 1925, including Interlake here. Uh, Wallingford was known as a place uh, for children and families. And actually, Lincoln High School just reopened uh, after 40 years of not being open. So back in 1925, the people thought that the first high bridge would come over Lake Union and would go along Stone Way here uh, from Queen Anne until it turned out to be Aurora as it is today. So commercial dreams from people here died, yet it turned out to be Stone Way is quite the happening area. So flashback to the Depression, World War II, 1946. Wallingford was still the pop, the center of population, with over 42,000 people and over 12,000 units. This data was taken by the post office surveyors. They counted all the way up to 65th, but I'm not gonna get into the boundary discussion again. Tune in next time to learn more about Wallingford. Peace.